Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're here with my official predictions for the UFC Vegas 84 main card. Firstly we have the main card openers, Phil Hawes vs Bruno Ferrer. Both guys coming off a loss, but I think Ferrer will win by TKO in the second round. He's been knocking guys out since he joined the UFC, all of his fights ending by a finish so far, and Phil Hawes has been getting knocked out lately. Let's put one and one together. Hawes is a former wrestling standout with a decent grasp of striking, with his last win being a knockout over Darren Wynn. He's a quick and powerful fighter who can overwhelm his opponents with the strength and aggression, but he might and probably will fade in the later rounds if he can't finish very early. He also has a questionable chin, having been knocked out by Julian Marquez and Chris Curtis in the past. Moving on to Ricky Simone versus Mario Bautista, I think Bautista will win by split decision. He is a rising prospect who is on a 5 fight win streak, including a dominant performance over Guido Canetti and Damon Blackshear in his last few fights. He's a versatile fighter who can strike and wrestle, and he has a high finishing rate with 9 wins by stoppage in his career. Simone is a tough and durable fighter who has a strong wrestling base and cardio, but he might struggle with Bautista's speed and creativity. He also tends to leave his chin exposed, which will cost him against Bautista's power. Thirdly, we have the legend Jim Miller vs Gabriel Benitez. I think Benitez will win by submission in the first round. He's a dangerous grappler who has 10 wins by submission in his career. He also has a solid striking game with a high output and accuracy. Don't get me wrong, Miller is a veteran, but he is past his prime and has lost 4 of his 6 last fights. And he is also susceptible to, to submissions, having been tapped out by Charles, Nate Diaz and Michael Chiesa in the past for Jim's sake. I do hope this prediction is true, just so he can get through this weekend relatively unscathed and healthy enough to make UFC 300, which he does wish to compete in. For the co-main, we have City Kickboxing's biggest hater and the only person other than Alex Pereira, Jean Blahovic, and Sean Strickland to hand Israel Adesanya and L, Manel Cap vs Matthias Niklau. I think Cap will win by unanimous decision. He is a fast, dynamic, explosive striker who can mix up his attacks with kicks, knees, and elbows. He's won four fights in a row, including a convincing win over Felipe Dos Santos in his last outing. Niklau is a well-rounded fighter who can grapple and strike, but he might struggle with cap speed and power. He also suffered a brutal knockout loss to Brandon Royval in his last fight, which probably will affect his confidence and chin. Overall, I feel like Kip will avenge Niklau's robbery win in their first outing in this rematch. For the main event, we've got Magomed Ankalaev vs Johnny Walker 2, the rematch. I think Ankalaev will win by TKO in the second round. Although there's been a series of unfortunate events in his career lately, overall Magomed is a way more consistent and disciplined fighter than Walker, who tends to be wild and reckless. I know people say that he isn't as wild anymore, but the tendency is still there and it gets him in trouble in fights. Uncle Live was dominating their first fight up until he landed the illegal knee that resulted in the no contest. The facts of the matter are, Magomed has a strong sambo background and heavy hands that can hurt Walker, who has been knocked out before by Jamal Hill and Corey Anderson, and Walker isn't in the desert anymore, he's in Las Vegas and he will get finished by Magomed in their rematch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, what are your predictions for UFC Vegas 84? Leave them down in the comment section below and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more MMA content.